What's going on guys, Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. We're going to be talking about a reviewer's device. But you know, when I do a device, when I do a mod, a drip, or a tank, I'm, I always want something that's innovative, that's different. And that to me is huge, that you're putting yourself outside of the box and you're recreating something that's already out, but modifying it in such a way where it's yours. And Rip Trippers did it. Now, I'm not a big Rip Trippers fan. I'm, I watched him in the beginning before he was all quirky and flying all over the place like a pigeon without wings. They don't fly. I don't understand the metaphor, not the point. It, you know, he's everywhere and I just, he's got his own style. Whether he gets paid for reviews or not is really irrelevant to me. What is relevant is, as always, un biased innovativeness that's what i'm looking for something that's different and this tank is exactly that it's everything that other tanks are not now there's another tank that's in the lineup that i'll be doing a review in a couple days on the artisan rta yeah that that's that's innovative by envy so let's bring it down we're going to talk about it put a build in it bring it back up top and vape it and give you my final thoughts on rip trippers faro rta one more thing to note, Digiflavor makes this. I've read on a couple websites that Geek Vape makes this, and that may be, but then I read that Digiflavor is made by Heaven's Gifts. So I don't know who makes this. We're gonna assume that it's Geek Vape. So Geek Vape made the Griffin, they made other things, then they made this. They also He also has the Pharaoh RDA, which I haven't done a review on, and I don't feel like doing one because I'd be backtracking, and I'm tired of doing old shit reviews. It's just not gonna happen. So let's bring it down, take a look at it, bring it back up top, vape it, let you know my final thoughts on the Faro RTA by Rip Trippers. So here we're looking at the Digiflavor by Chipper Lips. I mean, Rip Tripper, Digiflavor. Now, real quick on Digiflavor, I haven't had the best experience of this company. I did it on the DF200, which was like holding a fucking microwave. This company, I don't have the best experiences with. But that's needless to say, I don't know if that's gonna be the case with this. As you see here, it's got the little Faro going on there. That's cool. Warning below only applies if this product has been filled with the liquid. I like that. I like that because on the other boxes it says this product contains nicotine. This doesn't. And I, I like that. That's good. Flip it over. Innovative. You see that? Let's zoom in on that word right there. Innovative airflow. Control system. Bottom airflow. Top angled airflow. Interchangeable deck. Multiple deck options. That I can't comment too much on because i don't know anything about a multiple deck option juice flow control fantastic i love that you know the typhoon gt3 does that conical chamber that's a really nice friggin pointer isn't it oh my god i don't know why i haven't used that more conical chamber this is i i don't care about this part right here i know a lot of people care about that i don't i i really don't let's open it up see what we got inside the box here we go extra glass extension cap the tank underneath the tank you have a manual tells you a little bit about the RTA. I'm not gonna get into this thing. This thing is like a Bible. That's a big ass manual, man. That is thick. You don't even see mods come with that thick a manual. Multiple O-rings and your little handy dandy flip screwdriver triple post jammy. O-rings, O-rings, and a little bit more O-rings. Some titanium heat treated screws, fantastic. And a drip tip. You got the burpees. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell uses 510 drip tips anymore? Everything's fucking granity style. All right, yep, don't use that shit. That's mine. Glass tube, I'm just gonna trash this. No, I'll keep the box. We're gonna keep this out, keep the tank out, measure the tank, give you dimensions, diameters, all that other good jazz. Let's flip flop. Let's talk about the size of this tank. This thing is huge. One thing I want to take note of is these little, I guess, engravings. I'm not really a big fan of those. I, I would assume that that's their attempt at knurlings, but it's not the best of knurling. It it's very hard to grip. It it's not mean it doesn't come apart easy. It's just that this is not, it's not really much of a knurling at all. It I don't see it helping me grip anything. Maybe it's just the design and it doesn't serve an actual purpose. You see here that it has the bubble look. It actually protrudes more on the glass side than it does on the base. Top airflow, which is really, really vast. On the bottom, you have another set of airflow, really hard to see, but it's right there and it is clicky. 
and it does have a stop stopping mechanism it doesn't just keep spinning so you can adjust it where you have both top and bottom airflow or just bottom airflow or just top airflow so you have multiple configurations for airflow with this tank that's a good thing this drip tip here actually comes out and if you pull this out you can use that adapter that's included and use your own 510 drip tip the top part here is going to unscrew and once you unscrew this you open a multiple set of options there is your machining on the top cap it's not bad and then there's your fill pour chimney is pretty friggin vast man fill is really ridiculous and then here's the adapter to make it even bigger this tank by itself is a 4.6 milliliter roundabout maybe 4.5 when you add this additional extension tube or whatever you want to call it adapt that's going to give you another four mils so you're talking close to 10 mils inside of a tank of course it is pretty friggin big with the extension we're looking at 56.55 millimeters that's friggin big the actual tank itself the base is 20 25.6 so 25 and a half and then with the glass on the side is 27.11 this is a very large style rta very large of course it's not as big as the mod father but it's big we're just going to take the top extension off and put the regular top tank on i already did a build now what i did was just want to show you before i put it in did a little something different that flat ribbon on the top of fuse clapton so dual 28 with 0.5 millimeter ribbon on the top and then fuse together with 36 gauge this part here unscrews off so you can take the glass off that has your shaft and these are going to be for your airflow on the top to bring your airflow up to the top right here so they're like kind of channeled in this chimney comes off that is your center part and then there's your deck unscrew this deck here this is where i guess the options for different decks come in that you could buy this as a different piece already we're looking at innovativeness granted someone's going to be like oh it's not innovative it's on the fire rda right right but it's rip tripper shit and i'm not trying to suck anybody's asshole on this i'm just trying to tell you the way that i see it i love innovativeness your airflow is right here on the bottom directly above a coil me in my mind use a single big fat juicy coil giving you a lot of robust flavor. Now you can do a dual coil, you could do triple, quad coil, however you want. You could stack it like this, you could stack two side by side. I'm a big fan of single coil tanks just for the most amount of flavor and you get good decent vapor, but I'm not about the vapor life. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not about how much clouds I can blow. Now check that out. This is something that is sexy as hell. I've seen this on the GoVad. It's kind of the same adaptation if you will there is a little groove here and this goes into this this channel so you see how that works this isn't going to jostle about and move out of place when you're threading it down to catch your wire really super sexy i know someone had asked me before if they buy little mini springs you could do this with any kind of clamp style deck you can really you can get the springs that come in those little pens and then just un take the cut it and then use it for the same purpose that you see here single coil option the airflow have never seen the style of airflow your juice ports are massive i just see a lot of positive things with this now granted when i put the coil in it it might not be all that good however let's go ahead and put a coil inside of this it does come with two heat treated screws and two extra inside the bag along with multiple o-rings you see your insulation here for your positive post okay so you see what i did here i thought it was gonna look better than what it does it looks kind of shangati got this on the as vape strider we're looking at a 0.83 build there you go center out gonna spread it out a little bit you got a pretty juicy size well here real simple let's put it all back together we're gonna leave the juice channel fully open put the glass on and to adjust the juice flow you're just gonna spin this to adjust the the juice flow control and there you go. There's the Faro RTA by Rip Trippers. Let's bring it on top. All right, guys, so here we are back on top of the Faro RTA by Rip Trippers, and that's sitting on top of the Ads Vape Strider. Provide a link right there. Now, I just got the bottom airflow all the way open, so we're sitting at 46 watts. Let's see how it hits. Figure it out. 
I'm getting a lot of flavor. That could be due to the actual fuse cloth and, and providing the ribbon, because we know ribbon, ribbon provides a lot of flavor, very robust, a lot of surface area, so good vapor production across the board. I'm thinking the flavor is really good. To me, just the bottom airflow is enough. I feel that the top airflow is not gonna be needed, but for the purposes of this review, let's crack that shit all the way open. I have a feeling this is gonna be too much. So here's the top airflow fully open, bottom airflow fully open, juice control all the way open. Everything full speed, let's go. Actually, let me turn up the power a little bit. I'll put that 55 watts. It is a 75. Yeah, that's not good. The flavor's there, but you see the cloud isn't as dense, and that's because you're providing so much air. Just because you have a lot of air doesn't mean you're gonna get a lot of flavor. A lot of the times, the coils don't need that much air, and you're gonna drown out the flavor by adding that much air control. And I, you could see the vapor production is different. It's all right. I would much rather it close, and you can see the bubbles, bubblies. Yeah, see, that's better. That's just, that's, that's a way better vape. If I was to rate this device on a zero to 10, well, what I have to factor in is I gotta tread carefully because one, we know how honest I am and I can't be biased because it's Rip Trippers or another review. I just can't be biased. And I think I've proven that already. I don't even talk to Rip Trippers. I think I've maybe said two words to him my whole life and I never got a response. So it is what it is. I get it, you're popular, you don't wanna to talk to me, fine, I'm a piece of shit, I get it, whatever. Number one, the size of this tank is big. The construction of it though, the metal is fucking solid, man. I mean, you feel the weight of this tank. It's just a lot of metal and it feels good. However, for most people with most mods that are on the market, you really can't support a 25. You have a bit of an issue with an overhang. So keep that in mind if you're gonna buy this tank that it is a 25. Let me give that a final measurement one more time. But it's a 25 and a half, 25.27 to be exact. So you got the bottling effect with this. It's, it's skinny on the bottom that gets fatter at the top. Kind of reminds me of other things. Anyway, ah, uh, yeah. Cause if you have an elephant trunk penis, I don't know what to tell you. Zero to 10, I would give this a 7.5 or an eight. It would go, go up to an 8.5 if I could either reduce the throw by cutting the tank in half, having a nano addition, like where I just change the, the, the height of the tank because it's really tall. The diameter doesn't bother me so much. I just, you have to keep that in mind if you're gonna buy this tank. I'm telling you, 7.58, no shit. It's that good of a tank. It's not a 10. It's not a Typhoon GT3 to me. It's not an insane by Athea. It's not that great, but it's definitely a better tank than what's out there. There's, I think it's better than the Griffin, if that's even uh, an equation. I think it's a good tank. I think it's innovative huge to me it's got a little bit of spice it's nice it's different it's just an all-around great tank just the diameter and the height is huge on this and again guys unbiased really good vapor production i've kept the real have you jay's out